Hello and welcome to this tutorial on setting up Prism Launcher. Now, this launcher is based on MultiMC, but has a few extra features that MultiMC does not have. That includes being able to search for mods in with from within the launcher and downloading them directly from either CurseForge or ModRinth as well as being able to install more, uh, mod packs from CurseForge directly, which MultiMC does not have. Um, it also allows you to search and update uh, mods that you have installed already, which is quite handy, especially if you like keeping your mods up to date. Right, so let's get started. So the first thing you'll need is to install Java. So we're going to do that now. So for Minecraft version 118 and above, you want Java 17. For 117, you want Java 16. And for 116 and below, you want Java 8. I'm going to install all three. So here's all of them. There you go. Uh, so the first one I'm going to install is Java 8. So we want, because I'm on Windows, I want the Windows, and you want the .msi version to install it. Um, so I click that to get started, and that will download. And I might as well just download the other two while I'm doing that. There you go. All right, so first I'm going to install Java 8. And then Java 16. There's eight installed. And then finally, Java 17. There's your Java downloaded and installed. The next thing you'll need to do is download the Prism Launcher itself. So I'm going to have a link in the description to the Prism Launcher. At the moment, this will take you to the GitHub page. Uh, once they have a proper page to use it, that you will do that. Uh, you'll be able to use their own website and have a much nicer way of navigating. But here's what we got. So the current version, the current latest version is version 5.0. So you want to go down to the bottom of the page and click show all assets for now, and then download and run the installer. Now I've already got it installed uh, with a lot of stuff, so I'm going to be using this portable version, which I've extracted to the downloads folder for this tutorial. You can use, if you want to use the portable version, you can do if you don't want to install it. Uh, but if you're going to use it on the one computer and not have it, say, on a USB stick or something like that, it's better to have it installed. Uh, so let's run this now. When running the Prism Launcher for the first time, you will get this window to set up the uh, language. I'm going to keep it on British English, and it will give you a list of Java versions. For some reason, for me, it shows a lot of them duplicated for some reason, but that's not much of a problem. In this instance, I'm going to select the top one, which is Java 17, because I'm going to be showing you the late, a latest version of, of uh, Minecraft. If you normally do older packs, then you want to select 1.8 stuff. So that would default, that would just basically define what Java version you have by default. You can, on a per instance basis, select what Java you want to use. So you can have it on a per instance basis if you need. Right. So now that I've got that selected, we now need to decide how much RAM we're going to allocate. Now, if I open Task Manager, you can see by me going over to here, I have 64 gigs of RAM. So that's quite a lot. But usually I find that about eight gigs, especially if, if you do a load of different packs, is usually about the sweet spot. So to calculate how what numbers are put in, you can go to your calculator and do 1024, which is one gig, 
times the amount of gigs you're going to be doing. So I'm going to do eight. You can see that the outcome is 8,192. So you'd put that in the bottom uh, section, and then you would want to click finish. You do not need to change the other ones. So there's that there. If there is, so now that we've done that, we need to sign in. So we go to the settings. Uh, under the launcher section, you can go to user interface and change it to like last launch, the icon theme, and uh, the colors. So I will leave these uh, by default, but usually I would use the legacy and dark theme. For this, I'll leave it as default. And this is also a way if you want to use, store the instances, mods, or icons in different locations than where it installs by default. Um, with, with the portable version, it will install them to the way you have the portable one by default. But if you have the uh, installed version, it will by default install them to your app data location, just like normal, just like vanilla Minecraft does. And you can define those there. So for signing in, you'll need to sign in with your Microsoft account or Java account or whatever you have. You go down to the accounts section in the settings and then click add account. I will skip to forward to when I have finished signing in. Once you have signed in, it will, it will ask you to close your browser and then your account will then appear on the top of the screen here, like so. Now that you've got your Minecraft account there, now we just have to add an instance. You just close the settings and click add instance at the top. Now, this is where you can choose all sorts of nice options. So for example, you can choose a version of Minecraft. Uh, you can even go to the snapshots or old snapshots or uh, betas or uh, alphas or experimental, all sorts of um, versions. And under and below, you can go, oh, I want 119, but I want it to have the quilts mod loader or a light loader if it was available for that version. I think it's like old versions here, like 110, that's a light loader. And then forge if you want. And you can have those there. I'm just going to leave it as vanilla 119. But is it, there are other ways. You can also import from a zip file if you have one, or you can paste a link to a zip file, uh, which is super handy. And then, or you can install a pack straight from the AT launcher, like so. Curse Forge, the FTB launcher, uh, legacy FTB for older packs. From the Modrinth system, or even from the Technic pack, the Technic launcher. All these is really handy because then you can have them all under ones, and you can even select versions if you want it. Uh, want to? I'm going to leave it as vanilla, and then I personally have different groups, so vanilla. and have it like that. So I have the vanilla versions. And then as an example, if I go and get a pack, like uh, as an example, pick someone reforged from the ET launcher, it will then download and I'll have it here. And then I can change the group and go, because I've got vanilla, I want my modded ones separate. So I have modded and vanilla. And then to launch, you just click launch or double click the actual one. And it will then download all needed files from the Mojang servers to launch the pack. There you go. So Minecraft is loaded and I can play it as normal. Now, if you need any help setting this up or you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. If 
you need more assistance and you don't want to do it through the comments or you need more specific help where the comments would take too long, you can always join either the official Prism Discord linked in the description or my Discord, which is also linked in the description where I will be able, which I can help. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, subscribe and ring that bell. Have a good one.